Tasting like a boss, day two of the Nightmare Before Christmas coffee reviews by Bones Coffee. And for day two, we're doing Frog's Breath. And this is gonna be a three-way review. We're gonna do a cold brew coffee, we're gonna do drip, and we're gonna do espresso, just to see how the coffee develops and which is the best way to have it, if at all. This one, Frog's Breath, you got Sally on there this time around, is a chocolate mole flavor. Uh, mole means just sauce, uh, but typically when I think about it, I think about a sauce. It's got uh, cinnamon, uh, of course, chili pepper, uh, maybe some fruit or nuts. I, I don't exactly know what's going on in here. Uh, I'll give it a little smell first. Okay, it smells good. I'm, I'm getting hit, hit by... I think some cinnamon, but it's not just cinnamon. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else is in there. It definitely smells good though. I don't think I smell cumin or anything like that. I don't think you would do anything like that. There's the, there's the chili pepper a little bit. I mean, if, if I would guess, just guessing, I would think that it would just be chili pepper with maybe some cinnamon hints because the mixture of chocolate and uh, chili pepper can be quite good but there's something else in here besides just chili pepper uh, unfortunately there's no ingredient list so i don't know it just has coffee and of course you know, natural and artificial flavor so let's give it a taste see what we have so we have first the cold brew tastes like a boss It's interesting. I don't. I really don't know what to think about that. It's uh, it's not bad it's not anything like that. That it's just, I guess I'm just sort of hunting for the taste. I mean, of course you have the coffee taste. Uh, it is. At first, I thought it was going to get sour. It doesn't really get sour. Typically when they have uh, like Cinnabon, uh, which I think is one of them, or you no know, sinful, I, for, I forget exactly what they call theirs, but you can taste the cinnamon. Uh, there is an aspect of the end. I wouldn't say it's like a burn, but I, th I think that's chili at the end. It's interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to be my go-to cold brew, uh, but it's definitely not a bad one. It, it's almost like a... I, I really don't know. That's not like anything else on the cold brew side I've had. And I mean that in a pleasant way. Uh, not like, oh, I've never had anything like that. That's gross. I... I struggle with saying whether or not I think it tastes almost like a really good tea uh, because it definitely has that coffee flavor, but that, that's where I would put it. This is something on a nice hot day. That would hit the spot. So yeah, that thumbs up for that. So that's good. Let's move to the drip and see if maybe the flavors come out more on the drip. Yes, the flavors do come out more on the drip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's spices. There's spices galore that you do not taste in the cold brew. In the cold brew, there, there's like a... I think the, the spices are blunted for some reason. They're, so you're not getting the, 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 that bite of the spice. Um, and I don't mean like it's too spicy to drink. It's not like that. It's sort of... It's like taking you on an adventure of, of flavor uh, on the uh, the auto drip, whereas on the cold brew, you it's sort of like you're seeing the shadows of flavor, and at the end you have this thing that you think is spice. Here, I, I think I'm take, tasting some chili pepper and some other 
spices as well. Like, it feels very spicy at the end, like in the throat. Not a burning one, but kind of pinches along here. It's not bad at all. So, okay, so far, so far, this is the second coffee uh, of two, in which uh, it tastes really good on drip, not not as good on the, uh, the cold brew. Yeah, really engages the entire mouth and tongue. That's good, okay. Okay, this is what I'm worried about. Here's the espresso one. I'm always afraid it's gonna make it too uh, acidic, but uh, okay, let's give it a shot. I, hey, I just finished drinking it. It doesn't taste spicy like it's spicy hot, but you can definitely feel some stuff going on in the tongue. That's interesting. I, I have to say that that's pretty good. So, okay, here we go, the espresso. Okay, that, that kicks it up even more. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. On the cold brew, if you like cold brew and you want to have it, that's great just for the experience. I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for the cold brew. I, I think, uh, th again, there are other flavors that are work better for cold brew, at least in my opinion. So I, I wouldn't waste it on the cold brew, okay? On the drip coffee, uh, this, is a, this is a winner. This is a, this is a little different of an adventure on coffee, and it's not like one I've had before. I've had coffees, I think, where they've tried to put some spice in it before, but never as successfully as this one. This one, that, that's pretty good. And then finally, you're not going to do it all the time, I don't imagine, and you, unless you're someone who just likes to shoot espresso shots or anything else. But I'll tell you what, after a nice meal, you have a nice little uh, dessert. It's not going to be creamy or anything like that, but you want something that's got some notes on it you've never had before. This is it. It lights up the flavor. It makes the spice even more definite. So, drip, espresso, big thumbs up. Cold brew, not a thumbs down, but still not something I'd recommend. So, that's day two. Moving on to day three of five tomorrow. Thanks for watching and keep tasting like a boss.